And some people are going to say to all my tweets and stuff out there, you know, I, I, I'm a tweeter bird. I learned, <laughs> Rob, my daughter taught me how to tweet. I tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> and, and I was tweeting like a madman. And they're going to say, oh, you were harsh. You were, uh, you know, you were mean. You were I wasn't mean. I was, I was taking what was there to take. He, how could I disrespect somebody? I wasn't meaning to disrespect him. How can I disrespect Ruiz with my tweets, Ken, if he's not respecting himself? That's why I was bringing attention. That, that yeah, I, I'm pissed that you're not respecting the sport. You're not respecting yourself. You're not respecting any of the people that have traveled through their journeys in this great sport to behave this way, to act this way, to come in this 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 reckless and disregarding of of what you should have been caring about this opportunity the opportunity to to stay a champion to be a better champion to be a great champion that that you just you just sniveled at it you know you took and you blew your nose in it that's why i said those things because they deserve to be said because of the way he acted, the way he position he put himself in. I was saying the truth. Yeah, in a clever way, in a, a funny way, but the truth. The truth. That he allowed to become the truth. That Because it, it, it bothered me that he cared so little about those things. Those things that come very rarely. Those opportunities. And listen, I give him all the credit for the world talking about Ruiz, that he got off the floor and he won the damn thing the first time. All the credit in the freaking world. But I also point out all the things in the freaking world that he did wrong after in the second fight. Again, just like Leon Spinks did, just like Durant did, just like Buster Douglas did, went down that treacherous road of allowing the fame, and the money to make you forget about how you want to feel about yourself the day after, mm -hmm. and the day after, and the day after. And it can be, you know, it can be as devastating, that fame and that money can be more devastating than any punch you can ever get hit with, ever, and if you allow it to be. And that's why I have so much, I, I'll skip to a sport, but... I have so much respect for the guys like Michael Jordan that with all the fame, all the fortune, all of it, LeBron James, I mean, there's a lot of them, that they never lost, you know, we use the word hunger, but they never lose that respect for what they have. I'm not going to use the word hunger. I'm going to use the word respect. That's the word for me.